Hello friends, let's watch this video to understand the mechanical properties of material. First is the elasticity, hardness, plasticity, malleability, ductility, stiffness and the resilience. So let's study each of them one by one. So let's start with the elasticity. When we stretch a rubber band, the shape of the rubber band get deformed. Now, when you stop stretching, the rubber band regain its original shape and size. This is due to the elastic nature of the rubber band. So what is elasticity? Elasticity is a property of material by virtue of which a material can regain its original shape and size after the load is removed. Now let's understand plasticity. When we applied a load on a bar, the shape of the bar goes under the permanent deformation even when the external load is removed. So plasticity is a property of a material by virtue of which a material do not regain its original shape when the external load is removed. Now let's understand the hardness. Let's take an example of a two different wood. One is the pine wood and other one is a teak wood. Now hammer the nail on both the material with the same force. So we see that the nail is easily penetrated in a pine wood, but in a teak wood, there is no penetration of nail. This is because teak wood is harder than the pine woods. Let's take another example. The hole is produced in a mild steel square pipe with a cutting tool. It is possible as the cutting tool is more harder than the square pipe. So hardness is the property of a material by virtue of which a material is able to resist the penetration. So hardness of the metal can be tested by the Brunel hardness testing machine or a Rockwell hardness testing machine. Now let's understand the malleability. When the aluminum or a steel blade is inserted between the two rollers, it start deforming into the thin sheets without any cracks under the compressive force. So what is malleability? It is the ability of a material to hammer press or a roll into the thin sheet without breaking. Let's uh, see some examples. Uh, gold, can, we know that gold or a copper or even the silver are the most malleable material. Next is the ductility. So let's take an example. When, when you see that the one rod is just pass through the die and it is pulled under the tensile force. So it is drawn into the wire because of the property of ductility. Uh, gold is, is the most ductile material. From a one gram of gold, we can draw a wire of two kilometer lens. So ductility is a property of material by virtue of which it can be drawn into wire by the application of tensile force. Stiffness. To understand the stiffness, let's take a two different material. One as a fine ceramic and other one is a stainless steel metal. When a same amount of load is applied, it is noticed that the ceramic has a less stiffness as compared to the metal. 
So what what happens in this case? The material that deform least is said to be a stiffest material. So stiffness is the property of a material by which it offer resistance to the bending action. Resilience. To understand the resilience, let's take an example of shock observer. When this shock observer is subjected to some load, it gets a deform and some energy gets stored in it. Now, when we release the load, the observer come back to its original shape or a position without creating a permanent deformation. So what is resilience? Resilience is defined as the property of material by virtue of which the material store some energy without creating any permanent deformation. So in this spring, you can see there is no permanent deformation. And that's why we can say that it is an example of resilience. Thank you, friends.